Hi, I'm Molly, and today we are going to learn about the idiom, a breath of fresh air. Now, you may have heard this before, but we're going to break it down. So, a breath. What is a breath? A breath is taking in air, in and out, like breathing. But only one, so a breath. Now, a breath of fresh air is usually used when either the room is physically uncomfortable, maybe it's too hot or too stuffy, there's too many people in the room, there's too much going on. But it can also mean mentally, you just need to get out. You need to clear your mind, maybe you're in the middle of an argument or there's too many people and things going on and it's uncomfortable. You need to leave the room and just clear your mind. So let's look at the example sentence we have here. I was too hot in the room. I needed a breath of fresh air. You'll notice they don't say I need a breaths of fresh air. Just one breath. A breath of fresh air. So you're in a really crowded room and there's lots of things going on, and you decide, I just need to leave. I need to go get a breath of new air, of fresh air. So that's it for a breath of fresh air. We're going to look at some more example sentences. Let's look at the first example. It was too hot in the room, so she needed a breath of fresh air. It was too hot in the room, so she needed a breath of fresh air. The next example. She was getting angry at her boyfriend, so she left the room to get a breath of fresh air. She was getting angry at her boyfriend, so she left the room to get a breath of fresh air. Next. It's nice to get away from the desk and go on a walk to get a breath of fresh air. It's nice to get away from the desk and go on a walk to get a breath of fresh air. And finally, the room was too stuffy. He needed a breath of fresh air. The room was too stuffy. He needed a breath of fresh air. So now that you've had a chance to see some example sentences about a breath of fresh air, we'll review the two meanings. One is that you are physically uncomfortable. The room is too hot, there's too many people in it, you just need to leave. You are going outside to take a breath of fresh air. The second meaning is that you are mentally uncomfortable. Maybe you're in the middle of an argument or there's too many people or something is uncomfortable and you just need to leave. You need to clear your mind. You need to take a breath of fresh air. So now that you've learned these two meanings, I'll tell you a quick story. Many times when I am teaching and my seven-year-old students are going wild, they are running around, I just can't keep control of them. Sometimes I just need to leave the room to get a breath of fresh air. So be confident in using this phrase and have a great day.